Okay, so let's talk about how we can integrate this. Okay, a form of integration where I have the derivative function inside, but the derivative function has a constant composition. So it's not instead of being x, it's 2x. Okay, so the step-by-step -step procedure is the following. You let u equal to 2x, then you get du is equal to 2 dx. And then you can replace, you can isolate dx with half of du. So that can be replaced with half of, okay, half of du. And that's going to be replaced with f prime at u. See, which we get then f at u, right, f at u with half there plus c. So what we get here is half of f at 2x, right? Let's replace the u back with 2x. Okay, so this is true for any constant. So let's say instead of 2, let's say we all, it was just kx. If you follow the same procedure, right? And if you know the antiderivative of this f, you get that, kx. And you just times it by the reciprocal of k. So that's the antiderivative. And think about it. See, think about if this makes sense. If you differentiate this, do we get this? And the answer is, if you differentiate this, you get 1 over k, f prime at kx, chain by k. Do you see that that's k and 1 over k? Because this 1 over k is here, we can reduce to get back just that expression. So it's when you're doing um, a simple composition, simple composite function we're integrating it uh, backwards uh, usually if it's chain rule we times it by this number at the front if you're doing it backwards multiply by the reciprocal okay so just one more example let's say um, let's say we have integration of e to the power of let's say 3x e to the power of 3x the antiderivative of that, of that is e to the power of 3x but you got times it by 1 over 3 because instead of being x up here, we have 3x.